Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm gonna show you a typical Monday of me prepping my room and my workspace for my business that I run at home. If you didn't know, I own my own online bubble tea shop. It's called C Tea Shop, and we specialize in making boba kits so that people can make bubble tea in the comfort of their own home. We currently have a wide variety of milk tea options, but now that it's the new year, I'm looking into more vegan friendly options and non-milk tea so that a lot more people can enjoy what we have to offer. But that's not what this video is about. I just want to give some background. What you're watching me finish up right now is taping up a box of my branded boxes. These are the ones that all of the kits go out in, and I used to have two boxes of them, but now since I've been selling more, I get to condense, which is good. I keep the boxes in my room because I really have nowhere else to put them, honestly. I could put them in my basement, but I honestly really like the easy access to them and that I can keep them in a controlled environment. I know nothing's gonna happen to them, so in a corner of my room they stay. What you're seeing now is me reorganizing my stationary stuff, mostly the stuff that I use most often. I used to have everything under my desk in drawers, which the drawers are still there, but I noticed that when I was making kits, I was doing a lot of opening and closing of the drawers and, you know, spreading things out along my desk and it, it all just got very chaotic to me when I was making the kits themselves. So I figured, let me put everything that I use often in the containers and put them on the shelves above so that I have easy access and everything just works more smoothly this way. Now I'm about to start prepping some kits, so I am cleaning off my desk with disinfectant so it's nice and clean. Now that my workstation's ready to go, I can start on my orders. The first thing I do is make these boxes as many as I need for the number of orders I have to get out that day. This is actually one of the more time consuming tasks that I have to complete throughout the whole process, but I actually don't mind because it's kind of therapeutic. Next, I fill all of my boxes with a little bit of crinkle paper. Since almost all of my orders are for custom kits, I have to manually write down every single flavor that I'm gonna need to package for orders that day. What I used to do before was actually package a lot of the stuff beforehand so that I would have it on hand and be able to assemble quickly. Now, that didn't go so well after a while because some of the flavors weren't moving as fast as others, so they would kind of get a little weird because, you know, it does have a shelf life, they are powders, and air does get to them. It's, it's not always possible for me to keep them as airtight as I'd like, so now I kind of just go ahead and do them weekly as opposed to maybe sitting down in the beginning of the month and you know packaging five of each flavor and a few tapioca packages. I just want everything to get there as crisp and new as it can. Now I'm not going to show my packaging process for the powders because it's actually really time consuming and I don't want to give away my vendors. So here's what they look like after they're all packaged up and I put the label on them according to, you know, what flavor they are. Next, I take the time to sit down, relax, and write every single thank you card by hand. This is also really time consuming, but I don't mind because I really want people to know all the work that goes into making this package special. I want them to feel special when they open it, and it just adds that small business touch that you know, you're not gonna get if you ordered a kit somewhere else, maybe off of Amazon. I don't even know if they have that, but maybe I'll put my kits on Amazon. I don't know, we'll see. Now I'm gonna show you a few TikToks of me packaging my orders. So here is one from my first launch. As you can see, the branded box is not in sight. This is actually a white box that I was using. I ordered about 50 of them and I spray painted them all blue. And once those ran out, then I bought these new boxes. I designed them and they've been working really well. I'm really happy with these boxes. They're so much better and just the quality overall is a lot better. So this is just about all I have left for you guys for this video. If you have any questions about my business or running a small business from home, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them and maybe even make another video following up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.